Hey everyone, welcome back to today's video. So today's topic is going to be the rental module in Odoo 60. Now imagine you are in a small business firm or a medium business firm and for your business you need equipment. So being in a small business firm and buying large equipments, it's not affordable for us. So in such cases, we go for renting equipments, right? So uh, rental is not a new word for us because we've been run, uh, renting a lot of things like vehicles, rooms, spaces and all. And being in, a, in an organization also, you need to rent all these things, right? So for managing this easily, Odo provides the rental module. And let's see how can we implement a rental module in Odo 60. Okay, so let's go to the rental module and see what all things we can do inside the rental module. So for that, I'm opening the rental here. Once you open the rental module, you can see all the rental orders which are created till date. Okay, so these are the rental orders and we have different views like Kanban view. We have the list view. Okay, this is the list view and we have the calendar view. So this is the calendar view. So if you want to view like weekly, daily, monthly or yearly basis, you can do that from here. And next we have the pivot view. Pivot view is nothing but a table like view. And you can just flip axis, expand and also import it to an Excel S6. Then we have the graph view. So inside the graph view, we have line chart, bar chart and pie chart. So this is the line chart, this is the bar chart and this is the pie chart. Now inside line chart and bar chart, we have the option to sort it in ascending as well as descending order. Okay? And also we have the filters group by and faded. Now let's go back to the Kanban view. Okay, now if we take a look at the left side of the window, you can see rental status as well as invoice status, right? Now, if you want to filter it based on the rental status, you can do that. And if you want to filter it based on the invoice status, you can do that as well. And both also is possible, okay? So currently you can see all the uh, rental orders. Now, if you want to see only the rental orders which are in the status quotation, click on quotation, you can see there are two, okay? And we have confirmed once, returned once. Okay. Now, if you go inside the invoice status, you can see the ones which are fully invoiced, nothing to invoice, and also to invoice. Okay. So you can filter it based on both. Okay. Then this is currently filtered. Here we have the filters, the group by, and also the favorites. Okay. Let's create a new rental order. So I'm going to create one here. Click on the create button. So this is the creation form. This is same as the sale order. Okay. So here we'll choose a product. Sorry, a customer. Um, I'm choosing Azure Interior. So his information, the expiration date, quotation date, price list, payment terms and all have come. Now let's add a product. So while adding a product, you have to be careful. You should add only a rental product. So if you're not adding a rental product, means it's just a normal sale order. So I'm adding a rental product from here. So for that, we have a projector, which is a rental product. So I've added that. Now the quantity, how much you want, you can set that. Now you can see a wizard has popped up, right? Here you can add the dates. That is from which date to which date you are planning to rent it. Okay. So the, based on those two dates, the duration will also be calculated. So from here, you can easily change the date. Okay. I'm not changing anything then you have the quantity here uh, and also the unit price here and just click on add here the product is added and also the inside the description you can see the duration also okay so after that what we have to do is just confirm it okay so it's confirmed now you have two options which is create invoice and also pick up so once you rent it, you have the option to go and pick it up and after picking it up, you have the option to return it. So you can either pick it up and invoice and also invoice and then pick it up. That's up, uh, That depends on you. Now we have the create invoice. I'll create an invoice and then we'll pick it up. So I'm creating a regular invoice. Click on create and view invoice. Okay, so here's the draft invoice. I'm confirming it. And let's proceed with the payment. So clicking on create payment here. Now the payment is done. Go back to the order. And here we have the option to pick it up. So I'm clicking on pick up. Okay. So here you can see the product, the reserved ones and the picked up ones. That's the quantity. So I'm clicking on validate. 
Now currently the or like the product which I've ordered is picked up. Okay, the next option is to return. So here you can see it's picked up. Okay, now after every use and all, after the duration, what you have to do is return that product. So what you have to do is just click on return. Then it will be returned. So before returning, let's go back. Now here you can see the product which we printed right now. Okay, so next we have the menu which is the schedule. So click on schedule. Okay, you can see all the scheduled rent orders. That is, we have a like the rent will start from one day to another date, right? So that can be viewed inside the schedules. Okay, and also the scheduled rentals can be viewed here. So here you have all the scheduled rentals. So this is on a monthly basis. If you want to view it in an annual basis, you can do that. Weekly basis and also daily basis. Okay, next we have the products here. So these are not just products, they are rental products, okay. So we will see how to create it. For that just click on the create button. Now inside the create, this is just a normal product creation form. So I am putting the name of the product as, I will give a speaker or something. And here you can see many check boxes. Now inside the check box you can see can be rented. Only if you check that this will be denoted as a rental product, okay. So I have checked that. Now here you can see under the general information all the details. Now you can make the product type according to your wish. Now we have these much options like consumable, service, storable, event ticket, course, event booth and all. And also we have two types of invoicing policy that can also be changed based on your, uh, based on your need. Okay. This is currently in ordered quantities and also the sales price of the product can be set. Okay and you have the tax cloud category our tax category cost of the product product category and all okay so i'll just create a product here i'm saving this manually if you want you can add an image for the product and all just go back and there you can see a new product okay now here we have the reporting inside the reporting we can see the rental analysis so this is basically uh, like a rental analysis of uh, providers or graphical view as well as a pivot view. So inside the graphical view, you can see the line chart here, the bar chart here and also the pie chart. Okay. So you can see all the confirmed orders for the date 2022. Okay. So this is filtered. Okay? And if you want, you can insert this in spreadsheet, apply measures on that. So it will be viewed based on the measures. Now. Uh, we have the pivot view also. This is the pivot view. Okay, the, it's nothing but a table. Now just flip the axis if you want. So you can see like this. Okay. And we have option to filter, group by and also we have comparison. So we can compare it based on the dates that is previous period and also previous year. Now we have the favorite section here. Okay, now let's go back. And here we have the configuration. Under configuration, we have rental periods as well as settings. So just click on settings there. Okay, so inside the settings, you have the rental tab as well as the rent online section. Now inside the rental, you have default padding type. That's nothing but the minimum time between two rentals so you can set a minimum time there and here we have the default delay cost so if it's delay by an hour how much money you are going to you know buy from the person who rented it similarly per day apply after how many hours and for the product and all can be chosen here and here we have the digital documents so if you want to you know ask the customers to sign the documents on the spot or something you can just apply or, or just give them a digital document and that uh, documents default document is set here and you can just upload documents from here next we have the rent online where we have the minimum time of rental that is you can set a minimal duration between pickup and return so that here we can set the minimum minimal rental duration it can be days hours weeks months or anything and here we have the unavailability days that is uh, in a week which all days this rental is not possible so you can check the check boxes on which all days this is not possible so on those days people cannot rent it i mean cannot pick it up as well as return the product okay so that's all in the settings 
Next, we have the rental periods. So here you can set the rental periods. So you can see daily, hourly, three hours, monthly. Similarly, you can create periods. So I'm just clicking on create here. Now here you can see one month, duration, units and all. So you can set it based on your need. Okay, that's nothing but setting a particular period to apply it on a rental order. Let's go back to the orders. Now inside the order, I'm choosing the one which I created. Uh, which is currently in picked up right so going to orders again where we have the customers you can see all the customers inside the model module. and if you want you can just click on create and create a customer this is nothing but similar to all the customer creation forms inside odo okay so it can either be an individual or a company you can specify the name of the customer the address if, if he's an individual you can specify the company to which that individual belongs to and everything will be auto-occupied based on the company details okay so you can add multiple addresses here okay so from here you can add multiple addresses to the customer and we have the sales and purchase accounting internal notes partner assignment and also the membership tab let's go back inside the orders you have pick up and return so just click on pick up so the pickup, like the orders which are to be picked up will be shown there and also you have return. Okay. So things which are being returned. So that is for today. If there are any rental orders which should be returned today, that will be shown here. Okay. Now one thing is remaining, right? We have to return the product which we rented. So I'm just opening it. Okay. So here we have the return button. I'm clicking on return here. Okay, so validate the return. And here you can see this has changed to return. So let's go back. You can see the states have changed, right? So these are the main things which we can do inside the rental module. Okay, the main thing is that you can rent a product, pick it up and return. You can create rental products, rental periods. You can see the rental analysis, everything inside the rental module. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you.